Hi, this is Rob from Easy Marketer. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of our Easy Website Builder. If you look on the bottom right hand corner, you can see that we are currently at version 7.2.0. So if your version of Easy Marketer looks a little different to what I show you here today, that's because we've made enhancements to our program and we're continually making enhancements. But the functions of what I'm going to show you today will all be the same. It's just that we'll, we could have added extra features and benefits to be able to help you to take your online presence to the next level. So we click on Website Builder. And then it will display all of the websites that you have already created. If they are marked as green on the right hand side here, that means that you have uploaded them. If they are still blue, it means you haven't uploaded them yet. And when you create your website, you'll see four actions on the right hand side. The first one is edit, where you can go back and edit your website at any time. The next one is the upload button. So remember, if you ever edit your website, you have to go and upload it again. And then we have the trash can, if you ever wish to delete a website. And then we have a clone website, where you can go and duplicate your website. That's great where you're making multiple websites that you want to look uh, similar, and then you can just go and make some tweaks with that. If you're a team builder, if you've got a business and you want your team to have um, copies of your website, and then they can just make a couple of little tweaks themselves, you can give them your share code. So you can just share this code over here. And I'll teach all of that in a future video. On the share code, you would actually import a website, but what we're going to do now is create a new website. So we click on create new website and we have one template at this stage and we just click on use this template. There will be other templates there in the future. Now we name the website. I'm going to call this Rob Test. That's for your own reference so you can go back in the future and make any enhancements to your website. Waiting for that to load. There we go. So as it says here, we drag and drop the elements from the left to build your website. So up here is the elements up on the top left menu. The next bit is click on empty page on the top right to delete this image and start building your website. So up here on the top right, we empty the page. Are you sure you want to empty it? Yes. So if you ever want to empty any of the pages that you create, because remember a website is purely multiple web pages. So you build one page at a time and then link them all together. In a future video, I'll show you how to build separate pages and how to link them. So we start with an empty page like this. It's a blank canvas. So up here we go to elements. The first section we have here are blocks. In the blocks, we have our headers. We have our content and we have our footer. The next section is the pages. So we have a site map so you can, you can check and see how your site is building. And we have home because we start off with building our home page. If you want to add an extra page, you just click on add extra page. But I'll go into that into more detail in a future video. If you've got a Google Analytics script, you can enter those details here. If you have your Facebook pixel code, if you're into Facebook marketing, you can add that in here too. Feature video, I'll teach you how to do that. So let's go over here to our blocks. Click on header. We can see that we've got multiple different headers here. Don't worry about how they look because you can totally customize and change those. You can change the background images, the colors, the, the fonts, the size, and so on. So if we just look at this first header, I grab it from the left, drag it over to the right, give it a moment to do its magic, and now it's appearing there. Look at that. That's how quick and easy it is to create your menu header. Now all of this is changeable. So if I click on the logo, and you want to put a new logo up there, anywhere that there is an image, it will have the suggested image size here in red. So you need to make sure you resize your images and make sure that they are going to fit perfectly here. Uh, if that image is online, you put the path or the URL of that image, or if the image is on your computer, you simply click on this here, select image and upload it. You then click on apply changes and the new logo will appear. On the right hand side here is our, are our menus, our menu items. If you want to add more, you cl simply click on add more. So we just click on the add. We want to call it something pricing 
We already have pricing there, it doesn't matter, it's just as an example. Link the page with. Well, right now we only have our home page that we're building. So as you go and build your other pages, you just come back in here to the menu and you can link where you want that page to go. So I'm now creating pricing. So after I finish my home page, I would then go to what we saw before with add pages and create a new page called pricing. And then I come back here and we would see pricing and we link that together. If you want this to link to an external website, to somebody else's website or another website you have, you can enter that link, that URL in there. Now our link target, what that means is that if someone clicks on your link, what do you want to happen? Do you want a new browser tab to open or do you want it to be self? Self simply means that it would replace whatever the, the viewer is looking at. So what we're looking at right now, if we clicked on self, it would then go and change this page. And then we click on add link. So I'm going to put home and I'm going to put new tab and click on add link. And there's our new pricing tab on here. So now I've got pricing here. So let's say I wanted to, wanted to delete that one. Come over here, remove this link. Yes, apply changes, it's done. So that's how simple it is to do your headers. Now, the next section is our content. Now in our content, there's a whole array of content in here. And I'm not going to go through all of those individually now. We'll do that in a future video. But there is some um, um, contact us forms, there are videos, there are download pages, there's opt-in pages, there's countdown timers, and so on and so on. So whatever you wish to, however you wish to build your website, pricing tables, testimonials, and so forth, you drag it on the left and bring it over to the right. Let's look at testimonials as an example. Drag it, put it to the right, wait for it to do its magic, there it is. So you can drag it anywhere on the page and it will always appear on the bottom. And then you simply move it up, which I'll show you just in a moment. So you wanna change any of the wording, you simply click on it, click on the words, and then we have a full text editor here. Okay. Want to change any backgrounds? Um, there's each element has a change background. Here we can see up on this one, I want to change that to a light blue color, apply changes, and there it is, it's changed. You want to change a color, make the testimonial one a different color, you make it a light green, apply changes, now that's changed as well. Looks pretty gaudy. You choose your own colors to make it match your corporate image. I'm just using that as an example there. Okay, let's have a look at some other elements here. So if we go up here to our elements again, and then I want to add some testimonials over here. So there's a single, a double, or a triple. Let's add the triple over there. So that'll add three testimonials. Now we can in here, we can change all of these elements as well. You can change the background again. You can... Uh, change the text. You can type anything here. So you would just put the testimonial from the client in there. Change their name, their company. If you want to change the image, of course, your client's going to look different to this lady. We enter the details on the right hand side here, the path of the image, or you upload the image. Again, there is the suggested sizes. I'm going to apply changes now. Uh, you must have to go and up make that change. So I haven't made any changes to that image, so I can't apply that change. So it's great. It'll tell you if you ever make a mistake or you forget to actually do something. So now we go back over here to elements and we can add a pricing table. We can add uh, product information, drag it, drop it from the right, from the left over to the right. Okay, product features, go and change any of the text to, to talk about your product. Go and change the image of your product. Come back over here to elements. You can add videos. We can add your map, your contact us. Now if we wanted to add an opt-in form, check this out. Drag it, drop it to the right hand side, drag it anywhere to the right, and then wait for it to do its magic and it will appear on the bottom. 
So if we wanted to move this around, I mentioned before that it'll always go on the bottom and you can move it. You just grab the cross over here on the right and move it up. So if I want that right up the top, okay, I can do that there and you can see everything else is below. So of course this color scheme doesn't look good. You would just go and adjust it and customize it right to what you want. Now everything in here is changeable as well. Click on the header to change the header text. Click on anything with text. Okay, the actual opt-in box itself, click on the opt-in box. On the left-hand side, you would enter your contact list name. So create a new one. So this is a test, one, two, three. Who do you want the email to come from? So then you enter that in here, and then you enter in the who do you want it to come, uh, sorry, the send from name. So I'll put Rob, and what email address? Rob at ECM Demo. And then if you want to create your autoresponders, so an autoresponder is, for example, when somebody opts in to watch your video, they are now in your contact list and you might want to send them a welcome email. And then you might want to send follow up emails to promote your product. Well, they're called autoresponders. You do that within the contact manager. In another, another video, I'll teach you about contact manager. Then we've got a thank you page. So a thank you page for them to actually go and opt in. So of course, like I mentioned before, we only have our home page created. So we would go after we build our home page and build a thank you page. Then we come back here and we would see thank you here and you just link it to your thank you page. Or you enter a link if you want to link it to an external site. Now on the right hand side here, we've got first name, last name, email and phone number. If we don't want their phone number, don't ask for it. If we don't need their last name, don't ask for it. So now the opt-in box will only ask for their first name and their last name. You go to change the video on the left hand side, you add the YouTube link or the Vimeo link. And then we've got some video options here as well. And then we've got some uh, if you go and get the video to stop after a certain period of time, you can get one of these three men or one of these three ladies to pop up and tell your viewer that they need to opt in to watch the rest of the video. Pretty cool. Or you can add some text or you can go and upload your own image. It might be a picture of yourself pointing to the opt in with the note on there telling them to opt in on the right. I'll go into a lot more detail with that in the future. So now if I go over here to save now and I can, uh, so now I can see that my site has been set up, Rob test, there's my share code. If I want to share that with anybody else that has Easy Marketer, any of my team members, for example, there's no website link yet because I haven't set it up yet. So I haven't uploaded it yet. So here we can see that this is blue while the others are green because this one has not been uploaded. I'm going to go back now to edit the website. Waiting for it to load. There we go. So there's our website. Okay, and you can make any changes you want to that. So that was to be able to edit it. You just click on the edit button. Okay, and I want to preview this. I want to see what it's going to look like. So I can click on the preview button. Got to wait for a few moments for this because what it's actually doing, it's uploading that to the internet onto a test site. So then we can test to see what it looks like. And up the top, we can see three different images here. The first one is a computer. So this is what your website would look like if somebody was viewing it on a computer. The second one is if they were looking at it on a tablet. So you can see it is totally mobile responsive. Look how the opt-in form is now just changed to make it suit a tablet. And of course, this box here is a little bit smaller because we made we put less text compared with what's in the others when we just did that quick edit before. And then to see what it looks like on a smartphone. Okay, you can see that it just totally resizes everything on there. You can still watch the video, you can still opt in and everything. It just simply makes it smaller because of looking at uh, on a smartphone. So we're happy with how that looks. So I'm just going to close that and I'm going to save now. Always click on save now. I can't remember if I made any changes or not. So I just get in the habit of always saving when I go to go out, log out of that. So now I want to upload my web page. So I'll go here to upload the second button. Then it's going to ask you where do you want to upload it to? So if you've got multiple um, websites with us, multiple domains hosted with us, you can choose 
from any of the domains that you have hosted with us and you can create websites for every domain that you have hosted with us all in the one account all for the one low low subscription so on the right hand side we're going to say what folder do we want that to go in so if this was for training to train your team if this was for the home you would put um, team on the end or whatever you wish to do if this is the home page then you wouldn't enter anything here on the right hand side so then the website would purely be easymdemo.com being your home page but if this was a training page um, we could put on here team training use that before so I'm going to go team training three okay then you might do team training four team training five and so on as you're training different teams and having different content on there totally up to you what you want to have on your website now I'm going to upload it it's going to take a few moments to do this because it's logging into your website's control panel the cPanel setting up the FTP account that's the file transfer protocol account to be able to upload to the internet it's doing all of that for you without you having to log into the control panel when it's completed we get this great congratulations here so I'll click on the link to see what it looks like waiting for that to load BAM look at that there is our absolutely stunningly gaudy looking website with all these different colors but again you just go and uh, uh, adapt the colors change the backgrounds to suit what you want but here is our all our headers our header menus our landing page our testimonials so that's a quick overview please have a look at the other videos and I'll be teaching you step by step how to use all the other components of easy marketer